Dan works at Apex Automotive's HQ and is a lead demand planner. He's been tasked with gathering the data needed to make some key decisions about how to address the spike in demand. Dan works closely with Emma. Emma's out on the front line in the production plants, working with the teams producing the components. She works across many geographical sites, a challenge that many organisations are facing. Luckily, Dan's an Anaplan user, and he knows just how to go about gathering the data and presenting it so that some actionable insights can be viewed and decisions can be made. Dan creates a new app in the Anaplan UX and connects some new pages to his main planning model. He adds cards to his board to support the planning process, grids for an easy overview of the data, images and field cards to provide additional context, a chart to visualize the data, and some action buttons to support the planning process. Dan gets everything looking just how he needs it, confident if he needs more data, more visualizations, or more cards in the future, it's easy to add. Finally, he adds a form. He knows his team will want to interact with the data and add new planning scenarios. So he enables a form on the main grid. He reviews the data one final time before sharing the page with his colleagues. He uses Anaplan's notify action to send a message directly to Emma. She can now interact with the pages and add her planning scenarios. Four states away, on one of Apex's production plants, we find Emma. To no surprise, she's away from her desk in the hustle and bustle of the plant. Emma feels her phone vibrate and checks it to see a new email from Anaplan. It's a message telling her that the planning board she discussed with Dan is ready to use. She clicks on the link and opens the board straight in her mobile app. She uses the app to review the current production forecast, and there's a clear shortfall. But she's got some ideas on how she can fix it fast and uses the form that Dan created inside her app to create a new proposal. She adds some detail to provide some context for who she's involving with this decision. With her proposal created, she adds some core data, which is instantly updating the board with her proposal as it develops. She makes a few more changes directly in her app and compares her proposal against the anticipated demand as she goes. She can see with the purchase of some new machinery and updating the operating capacity, it looks like the demand can be addressed without too much of a delay. Once she's happy with where she's at, Emma adds a comment to that grid card which contains the details of her proposal. She tags Dan with an app mention. She knows that Anaplan will tell him the plan's ready for review. Dan's working late on another project in Anaplan when he sees that Emma has added a new proposal to his collaborative planning board. He jumps to Emma's proposal and quickly compares her numbers against the base demand plan. This view is everything he needs to be able to make progress. So Dan adds a comment and sends it to Emma to thank her for her work. It's now time for Dan to plan what he'll need to showcase the insights the team have produced allowing the board to make some clear and informed decisions. He creates a new page and adds some cards to help visualise the data. He adds a few extra charts, a Gantt chart to visualise the milestones in Emma's proposal and a map chart to help break down product demand by US region. As a final touch, he makes the Gantt chart editable. So Dan knows that some funding might be available a little sooner than anticipated. This is not a problem. He can very quickly adjust the plan by dragging the bars on the Gantt chart to the desired dates, seeing instantly how that impacts the data in the rest of the model. With the data that Dan needs created and captured in the model, Dan needs to create some reports to communicate his plan to the various stakeholders in the business. He starts with a web-based report for the board. He creates a new page in his app and he pulls on the relevant cards. He wants to create something that's really easily digestible on a large screen and something which lets him switch between proposals so that he can compare as he's talking through them. He adds a couple of the product details and then he adds the heat map visualization, 
as well as some really high level numbers that he knows the board are going to be interested in. Dan wants to ensure that he's catering for the consumption of this on both a large screen and in a report format. So he adjusts the layout to make sure that he's happy with it. He thinks that some of his executives might want a little bit of extra detail. So he also adds in some links to the additional worksheets, which will let him deep dive into that detail if he needs to be able to. And as a final touch, he adds the Apex logo to his page. Once Dan's happy with the report and that it conforms to the guidelines set out by his company, he publishes it to make it available. Now Dan's page is published, he checks to make sure that everything's connected as he expected, which it is. He can switch between the different versions and see the impact across the board, depending on which version he's looking at. It's clear that Emma's proposal is going to win. He clicks through to see a little bit more detail. He knows that going from this page to this worksheet means that the finance team can use this too. Knowing the finance team, we need a heads up on the plan Dan jumps into an Excel file and connects his Anaplan add-in for Excel to his model to pull the financial data into a format he knows the finance team will be comfortable using. Dan finds the module he needs and pivots them to create his finance reports before syncing and pulling the numbers into a spreadsheet. Dan's able to use Excel to edit the styling, formatting, and layout, and create the report. He adds a custom calculation, so finance can understand some additional details not included in the Anaplan model. He quickly adds a new column and a simple Excel formula. He switches the view to show Emma's proposed approach and resyncs his file to pull the latest scenario data into his workbook. Finally, he adds some Apex branding, some contextual additions, and it has the formatting ready to send it straight to the finance team. Finally, Dan needs to combine his planning data with the output from other systems that Apex Automotive has deployed across their manufacturing sites. Dan uses Power BI to easily combine his Anaplan data with data from other business tools as well as traditional platforms like Azure's or MySQL. Using the Anaplan Power BI connector, he downloads Anaplan data into Power BI for desktop. Browsing, previewing, and selecting the data elements you'll need before positioning the data and choosing an appropriate visualization. With the base data from Anaplan pulled into Power BI, Dan can now combine this with any other source of data. He chooses to map his Anaplan data against a breakdown of plant value by time period, selecting the relevant data and deciding on the most fitting visual format. With that now built, Dan can now publish his Power BI reports and dashboards to Power BI clouds to share with a wider audience, both within and outside Apex Automotive.